Well, hello, folks out there in YouTube land. Got a big show lined up for you. Let's get right on into it. All right, let's pull up this screen here. All right, the Vols are hosting two huge tackles. These are some big dogs here. We really could use some help at tackle with Darnell Wright opting out, and he's heading to the NFL. So it's going to be really important that we get some really uh, strong tackles that have some experience to protect our quarterbacks. And as you know, we missed out on Francis uh, M M I, uh, I can't pronounce this guy's name. But anyway, we missed out on Francis. Any of you guys call me Francis, and I'll kill you. He doesn't look like a Francis, though, does he? So with missing out on that guy, we're definitely going to need some tackles. Now, this first guy is a Johnny Cornelius, and he is out of Rhode Island. And he's a sophomore, so he's got two years left. He's uh, already started in 22 games. He's six foot five, 310, and he's allowed one sack and 500 snaps. So this guy has done a really good job. He is very sought after in the transfer portal. There's about 20 teams after him, and we're one of them, and we're hosting him this weekend. So this would be a great get for us, and he's the top offensive lineman in the transfer portal right now. So would be a great get, especially with two years left. Now, the next guy in the portal that's actually uh, visiting this weekend as well is Andre uh, Carrick. In all 12 games this year for Texas, he's six foot five, 306 pounds, and he was also a four star. So, this would be a really nice get for us. He's kind of a road grader, and he'd be a nice get. And at the end of this video, I'm going to explain to you why I think the transfer portals have been a little bit slow for us. Now, when I say slow, you know, we picked up a kicker, we picked up a tight end and also an offensive lineman who's, who needs to be developed. You know, I don't know if he's going to be ready this year or not. He might be. He's a huge dude. He's like six foot seven, 350. But, you know, I don't know how ready he is. He was a freshman. But I'm going to tell you why I think the transfer port is a little bit slow for the Vols and really for a lot of teams because a lot of these players haven't committed yet, and there's over 1,000 in the portal right now. But I, I think I know why. And also, we've got Nico in this weekend. And, of course, he's going to be at the bowl game. I think he's going to be practicing with the team, which will be cool. And I never can not pronounce his name. It's like uh, Nico Lamalogop. La I don't – another name that I'm really struggling with. U-U-M-E-L-L-M-A-H-A-Y-E. Oh, Melmahe? Yes. Yeah, I don't think it's uh, Melmahe. <laughs> And look, there's a lot of people in Knoxville that are very excited about this dude being in town, and I can't blame them. They're a lot like this. The new phone book's here! The new phone book's here! Yeah, absolutely. He's got the whole town fired up. But that's pretty excited. I think the whole town's kind of fired up about this guy. In my opinion, he's the number one quarterback in the country uh, coming out of high school. I know there's uh, Peyton Manning's son who's uh, ranked number one. But for what we do in our offense, we need a very mobile quarterback. And this guy's quick, and he's got some jets. And as we know from watching Hendon Hooker, who was just, man, did he do a great job for two years. And we're going to miss him. But uh, you've got to be able to run in this offense so you can scare the defense and keep them honest so they don't pin their ears back. If you pinned your ears back on Hendon, he was gone, and he would burn you for 40 yards like that. He didn't care. <laughs> But now I'm going to tell you why I think we haven't signed a bunch of guys in the transfer portal and why I think a lot of teams haven't. Because we've got the National Signing Day coming up next week. And the early signing period is December 21st through the 23rd. So I think a lot of teams are being very careful right now not to uh, get too many committed players out of the transfer portal because they really don't want to scare their recruiting class. Because if they start recruiting over some of those guys, they might flip. And you don't want that to happen. And that may be why Tennessee's kind of slow walking this a little bit. And I think a lot of teams are doing that because, you know, you need to be careful because we've got some great players coming into this class. And I've been thinking about that a lot the last few days of thinking, you know, hey, if we start bringing in a bunch of dudes, some of these uh, high school seniors are going to be like, do I really want to go there if they're going to start bringing in all these transfer guys? So they may be waiting until after they've, um, you know, signed uh, their paperwork before they start really uh, getting serious about bringing in any any more transfers because look the Tennessee's going to have to bring in some guys out of the portal because we're losing guys in the portal so you know they're going to need probably six seven eight guys and I think they need to uh they need to recruit to their weaknesses which they have done in their class but they need to do in the portal as well because we need some instant help in several positions offensive line is certainly one of them cornerback uh, all down the line so 
I think that has a lot to do with it. All right, folks, so we're going to be keeping an eye on these two guys. Uh, these would be really nice gets. I'd especially like to have this guy right here because we need to protect our quarterbacks at all costs because when Georgia and Alabama starts uh, pinning their ears back going after uh, Joe or Nico or, uh, or Jackson – or who knows, we may have a transfer uh, portal guy too with some experience. We need to protect them, and uh, this guy can definitely play a role in that. And if you like this content, be sure to hit that like button. Let's be able to continue to cover the Vols. And if you haven't subscribed, hit that subscribe button. I'd appreciate it. It is right here, or is it here? I, it's it's either here or here. I don't know. I'm I'm, I'm not reversing. My, my brain doesn't work in reverse. <laughs> anyway, it's it's either here or here. But hit that button. Anyway, we'll see you next time on Sports Talk Jay.